You have written this book, uh, Why and When the Dick Van Dyke Show Was Born. And this show is such a game changer. And what's, what I love about this book, and I've been through every page, is you talk about the unlikely path to success of this show. Your wife, Estelle, was the one who pushed you to write this show. You were reluctant because you hadn't, you'd written sketch comedy, but you hadn't written this kind of format before, and you didn't think you could do it. Well, r right after the uh, show of shows ended mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, with Sid Caesar and Caesar's Hour, the, the review format was dead until Carol Burnett brought it she back. She brought it back, yeah. And uh, so I was being offered situation comedies, and they weren't very good. And my wife read one. She said, why don't you write one? I said, I don't know how to write that. I was on Fire Island, and I said to myself, what piece of ground do I stand on that nobody stands on? I live in New Rochelle, work in New York on a variety show. So I'll write about that. And I wrote a thing called Head of the Family. And it was financed by Peter Lawford. Mm -hmm. He paid for the pilot. And I wrote 13 episodes, so I'd have it ready in case it went on. Other, other writers would have a, a template. Mm -hmm. And so I did the pilot with Barbara Britton and Morty Gunty and Sylvia Miles. It was fair. It was OK. And you were the, you were the star. I played Robert Petrie. It was yeah. OK. Didn't sell. And uh, I started doing movies. I wrote a, sh a movie for Dar's Day, The Thrill of It All. Mm -hmm. And Sheldon Leonard got a hold of these 13 scripts from my agent, and he said, he called me in, he says, these are very good. I said, well, Sheldon, I don't want to fail twice with the same material. Mm -hmm. And here I impersonated him pretty well. He says, you won't fail? I'll get a better actor to play you. <laughs> <laughs> and then enters Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> you know what's so funny is you see how much the times have changed. <clears throat> you have Dick Van Dyke, Mary Tyler Moore, and they're married on the show, but you can't show them in bed together. No. <laughs> the, 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 the restrictions and the sort of puritanical sexual code was so intense in the early 60s. Well, in the 50s, it was even worse. Sid Caesar on the show of shows and I were in the trenches during World War I as playing two soldiers, and the bombs are bombing us. And Sid raises his fist and he says, damn you, damn you, damn you. And they said, you can't say damn. Right. So it ended up on the air. Darn you, darn you, yeah. darn you. Which is what you would say if yes. you were about to die, yeah. So, and we could, and 100 years later, uh, Joan Rivers had a show, uh, the, uh, a roast show, and she asked me to be on. I hated roast, and she said, just be my guest, please. It's a, her last. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I went on. I was the guest at the end. Was this televised? Televised. I, yes, it was televised. Yeah. And it was also bleeped, which I'll bleep myself. <laughs> and, uh, and I came up there and I said, uh, you know, I told the story about saying, darn, darn, darn. We, I said, we couldn't say anything. So here now, I get a chance to use all the words I've never been allowed to use. <laughs> and I went. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then at the end, I went. Free! Free at last! <laughs> <laughs>